Display curve points. I drew two curves. I came down here the curve tools, create curves. I drew two of them. The first one I used the size of 100. The second one I used the size of 1. Now let's go and take a look at these points, these curve points. If I go up to display and come down and check on curve points, you can see how few curve points there are in this one. And there's a lot more over here. Now, if I go to grab a curve and I try to grab here, you can see that it's not grabbing it very well. I have to come over here and get it by one of these curve points. And you can see that it's not the most nice uh, spline line there is. It's kind of herky-jerky. But when I come over and grab it by one of these, you can see I get a little smoother results. So when I grab onto these curve points, I have uh, less difficulty making a hard kink if I can see where all these points are. So if I can just grab onto one of these things, I can make an addition. But if I'm not, and I end up trying to grab somewhere in here, for example, you can see it won't even let me. Or if I'm grabbing right here, it won't even let me. I wouldn't know that if I had my curve points off. I wouldn't know that I'm not grabbing onto a point. See over here, I'm just not getting it. So it's a lot easier to edit my curve points with my grab curve tool if I'm showing the points. So I can come over here, and grab a hole that one and pull it down. Okay. And I just get a whole lot more control with more uh, curve points than I do with less. So it helps to display them. Again, display curve points. You want to turn them on. You can turn them off when you're done making your curves. And then once you have your curves made, you can do some painting and sculpting using those curves.